Hello, welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at a mysterious package. Mysterious. I need some mysterious music to accompany this. I mean, you'll know what it is probably because I'll put it on the. You'll put it on the title. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't put it on the title. Not initially, anyway. Let's just open it up and see. Oh, it's like one of those weird unboxing videos. Never done one of them. But this is unwrapping of slightly yellowed as you can see retro goodness <clears throat> oh there's a glimpse at the ports there oh that might give it away to some of you okay let's do let's do it let's do it oh 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 my giddy aunt check it out <laughs> hey, look at it look at it Dragon 32, fantastic. So this is in a right state. The Dragon 32 is a bit of an iconic UK computer. Lovely keyboard, it was really nice. I've always wanted a Dragon 32. Something about it, it just appeals to me. I don't know, it's 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 quite light actually. Is there much in it? Um, it's a chunky unit and maybe too chunky really I actually I wasn't sure it was didn't know it was going to be quite this big it's quite deep anyway this is in a right state it's all very badly yellowed and uh, there are some pictures of the inside and uh, let me show you I'll get it open and we'll have a look because not everything is right in Kansas as they say it's pretty bad so it comes with nothing it just has the unit itself tamper stickers have already been tampered with um, so let's open it up Before I open it up, let's have a little tour of what's going on here. So this is a classic 8-bit computer. There's a Centronic parallel port there. Uh, that is the um, so before we go any further, let's take a little tour of the unit. Lovely mechanical keyboard. And here you've got a range of ports, so there's the RF TV, there's a reset button there, sounds nice and springy. Uh, left joystick, tape, right joystick, um, they're sort of weird connectors. There's also a hole there for something else, you sort of stick your finger in and you can see capacitors right in there. That's a bit odd isn't it? Printer port, on the back you've got a monitor output, the on off switch, and now that is one of the issues that is completely jammed it doesn't move at all and uh, the trans supply I presume it means transformer supply this weird weird connector I think it has like uh, two voltages like 19 volts or uh, it takes AC it's like minus 19 volts and 21 volts or something weird you know, 24 volts I'm not sure what and then the other side is a cartridge port which took I think game cartridges, but also lots of expansion. It's a chunky old unit, that's proper solid. Okay, so that's the ports. Let's open it up and see what's going on inside. As you've seen there on the back, it's indicating that something is not great. <laughs> There's quite a lot of rust and corrosion on that. Um, that's not good. Um, oh dear, something's just broken inside. I think that was a, a standoff post to just come off. I, could, I heard it go clunk and then drop. That's not a good sign. Yeah this comes off quite easily but we've got a screw there, a screw there and a screw there. I don't want to just do this a minute. That's 
and they're not going to come off that easily. Okay, let's just take this bit off. Okay, yeah, that's snapped off. That's a shame. Uh, oh, there it is. There's the post. Bugger. That's supposed to be in there. Oh, well. Ah, this has been glued. Look, this has been previously glued. Unsuccessfully, it seems. Or maybe successfully for many years and it gave up. <laughs> let's put that there. We have to look at that at some point. Um... I mean retro brighting, all that kind of stuff. The logo is a bit bubbled up. So if we did that, I think it's a paper logo. Um, and that's so iconic, I don't want to lose that. But equally, maybe there's replacements for that? I'm not sure. So let's take a look inside. Ew. <laughs> so it's not in great nick, as you can see. Um, in fact, it's pretty horrible. So this is this is running the uh, 68 or oh, something 6809 8 bit CPU, which is a um, derivative of the 6502. I think this has been outside or somewhere very, very damp. If you look there, this RF module and power supply, so it has what is that again? So you've got a power supply input, monitor output. So um, there's a video signal coming out of there, which goes to, goes to that connector and the RF. Um, oddly, ah, the RF is on the side, so you can see that that sort of sticks out there. And that reset button is actually seems to be intact and is on the main board. The spring itself is is rusty, but actually the board itself looks dirty but okay. It actually looks all right. Um, there's only three socketed ICs that I can see. CPU, which is good. Uh, something there was texture instruments thing. Presumably that's a ROM. Um, 74LS783, bloody Nora, that is a massive, I'm not sure I've seen a, a 74 series that's that big, it's huge. Um, and that's a serial controller, I'm not quite sure what those other ICs are, I can't actually read what's on it. Um, anyway, so the issue we have here is that this power supply slash RF module is just disgusting. It's really bad. So if I'm going to bring this back to health, I'm going to have to find a replacement for this because I, I very much doubt this is going to work. Apart from anything else, finding the, the correct power supply is very, very difficult. Very difficult. Because um, there's such a screwy voltage. There are, oh dear, that screw is completely destroyed. Oh my goodness, that's not going to be easy to do. Let's take this connector off a minute. Um, wow, that is very bad. I don't. I can't get. It. I'm not sure I can get a purchase on there. I might actually have to drill that out. It's that bad. Ugh. Okay. Well, the, the keyboard connector that looks okay. It's very sort of BBC like, and it's. Um, and how it's been made, i.e. a bit nasty. I don't like that. <laughs> um, so I guess that's a... Oh, that's actually plastic. That's not metal. That's to, for the cartridge port with expansion. Yeah, it's it's interesting. So, as I say, the board itself looks in reasonable nick. This one is absolutely terrible. So what I'd have to do is find the replacement or maybe, um, depending on what the signals are in here, I might be able to... Uh, I bodge it up? I'm not sure. The, I mean, the, the video signal is generated here, obviously, and, and then output here. So maybe some of these are for the monitor output. Um, there are one, two, three, there's five connectors on the back of that monitor socket. So some of these might come out on here. I don't know. I'm not sure about sound. Presumably sound has to come out as well because there's no speaker. Uh, that's funny that most of these 8-bit machines had speakers, but this one doesn't. That's interesting. So we'd have to come out the TV. So there's a missing bolt on that um, that thing there. Let's hope that hasn't flown off and shorted things out. Look how bad that rust is. That is awful. Jeez. Um, yeah, that's a real problem. I'm going to have to drill it. Can I drill it out? I'm going to have to drill it out. That seems very draconian, but I can't think of any other way of doing it. Also, I've noticed that the... Um, well, it could just be the rust and corrosion. I'm not quite sure. 
those diodes don't look in a particularly good state. That one's actually got some corrosion. Oh, I must, yeah, but it's, if it's been sat in water and in somewhere damp, then all this stuff, all this stuff is going to happen in it. That is also missing a bolt. Um, I think that's been replaced at some point and not replaced very well. I can't think that's in the, been in the factory like that. Uh, somebody's probably replaced that and uh, well it's either been replaced um, and the leads are not long enough so it can't it can't go down there so they just left it off or what I just don't know a little bit nasty and horrible okay well let's drill this out and see if we can get this board out this is probably a case of don't try this at home <laughs> um, I'm not sure about this but I'd, I'm not going to be able to get the damn thing out. And to be fair, not a well bunny. Uh, let me just tidy this up a little bit so I can see what's going on. Yeah I mean I would have tried to get some pliers on there but it's really difficult to get in there and there's just not enough of it left. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's got it. Yeah. Well, it gave up in the end. <laughs> Bit of a struggle, but there you go. Right, let's get this board out. I'll move these out of the way because these are flipping dangerous. When they're on the floor like that, it's not fun to step on them. Right, so the power board. I think that's it. Yeah, that's got to come there and then there like that. Oh my god, look how bad that is. Look how bad that is. Holy mother of God, that's terrible. Look at that. Jeez Louise. Okay, that's been sat there for years. Oh, doesn't really bode well for this thing. But maybe that's okay. Look how bad that is. I don't think I've ever seen a piece of technology quite as corroded as that. That has just been sat in water for years and years. Oh God, that's very sad. Okay, well I'm sure I can get the connector pinouts on the, on the net. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> that one is for the scrapyard probably. All right, let's take the rest of this off and see. Just need to clean that screwdriver because it's all gone a bit nasty. All right, what have we got then? So there's this thing here. I don't want to use too big a screwdriver here just in case um, I start cracking things. This this plastic is, I assume, very brittle by now. Okay, that 
one comes out there. Well, I mean, I've got to say, I'll be careful what I, how I say this, but the more I uncover, it actually doesn't look too bad. Now that screw there by the reset switch is a little bit corroded, but it's coming out, it's coming out. Interestingly, there's a hole there where a um, screw was next to that port there. That's a weird hole. So I wonder whether that was for something, although the, the capacitors are kind of in the way. Maybe there was a plate, a blanking plate that went across there. It's not there anymore. Right, there's a couple of brackets there to hold the keyboard on. I'll just take that one off. Okay. The keyboard comes out like that. Uh, maybe it's best to take the keyboard off. Okay. Keyboard is in fantastic nick. It's a bit dirty. But look at that, all proper spring loaded loveliness. Wow, that feels amazing, that, that keyboard. That's definitely a good sign. Right, what have we got then? So we got another one here. Dragon Data Limited CPU UK 32K Mark II. PC 10887 issue 5A. If that means anything to you. Doesn't mean anything to me yet, but hopefully I'll find out. Is that it? It is it. Right, okay. So this is this is the so the board is free. Oh, I'm quite nervous about what I'm going to find underneath, I've got to be honest, but... Well, actually, that's not bad. That is not bad. There's a bit of bark. That's a bit weird. Okay. There's stuff there. And there's some rust on what is the reset switch. But I reckon that will clean up all right. I don't think there's much there, really. The connector there uh, is a little bit... Yeah, a little bit scrappy, so I'll probably have to clean that up and reflow. There's at least a couple that I've got to reflow that's fairly obvious. It's like wood or cork or something, that's weird. Anyway, that's that screw's rusty, those screws are rusty, but they're going to be steel, so that's just the way it is. Um, okay, well, all in all, that doesn't look too bad. Let's put that to one side. I'm gradually having piles of of um, dragons all over my workshop. Right, now this is terrible. <laughs> this is in a shocking state. So when we turn it over, what I'll have to do is, um, well, I'm not sure what to do. Take a picture of that, so I've got that for in the record, and then put this in the dishwasher on high intensity, and then we'll come back and see what that's like. Um, in fact, it's probably a good idea to put both of these bits in the dishwasher. I'm just worried about this thing here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some research first to see whether, whether there are replacement labels. So I put that in the dishwasher. It's a, it's a shiny paper one that's just going to get ruined. And I don't want that. The, the dishwasher clean will make this case a lot more palatable. Um, that is probably going to get ruined. Well, it is what it is. You can put tape over it, and sometimes I put I put some tape on it, and I'll certainly put tape on that. And if it survives, great. If not, well, we tried, uh, and we have to get a replacement. Anyway, I don't. Even if the thing works, I'm not sure I'm going to touch this thing too much. It looks horrible, um, and that is disgusting. So yeah, it is. It has potential. I think the board. Logic board, let's get that back a minute. The logic board looks okay, so I think there is hope for this unit. Um, yeah, right, so cleaning begins. I'm going to do some cleaning, do some research, and see whether it's possible to um, bodge up a power supply because obviously, this, this is going to take five volt logic and all that kind of stuff, it's not going to take these weird bloody you know, random, who the hell thought that was a good idea, connector voltages. Um, it's really odd why they've done that. 
but it is it is bizarre. It is bizarre. Okay, I mean, it, apart from anything else, they would have had to have a transformer with with multiple tap offs, and and I've looked online, and they're not standard parts. So maybe they were back in the day. They don't do them anymore. Don't know. They're just very rare to find. So yeah, um, that power switch is completely jammed. It does kind of work, just doesn't spring back. Is it because it's just, just rusty? Maybe I'll put some WD-40 on it and see. Anyway, this is not going to... I'm not... I haven't got this bit, and I'm not... Well, it's knackered. Look at the state of it. <laughs> you know, there comes a time when you've got to think, mm, actually, you know what? That's scrap. Maybe I can reuse the heat sink. That'll clean up all right. Um, but the rest of it... Nah, it's knackered. Right, stay tuned. The journey of the dragon begins. See you next time.